Buongiorno, my beautiful circus monkeys. I wanted to take some time out of my otherwise busy schedule here and give you a little history of one of my favorite acts, the bed of nails. As you can see, I'm luxuriating on my own personal bed of nails right now. And it's very therapeutic, kind of like acupuncture. Did you know that's one of the major benefits of a bed of nails? So come on, let's take a journey into the past. A bed of nails defined by Wikipedia is an oblong piece of wood the size of a bed with nails pointing upwards out of it. Now, you may have been to magic acts, you may have been to the circus and seen a performer use a bed of nails for all sorts of strange and seemingly impossible acts, such as having a cinder block broken over their chest. Or maybe you've seen on TV where someone has had a dozen motorcycles ridden across their chest while laying upon a bed of nails. In fact, the bed of nails has been around for nearly a thousand years. There is some debate over whether it originated in Asia Minor or Asia Proper. Today it's used in both as a form of meditation and medication. Here you can see a photograph taken in 1907 of an Indian fakir. A fakir is a performer which does mystical or magical acts, usually on the street. And here we see a photograph from 1913 of a Hindu yogi just reclining on a bed of spikes. Looks relaxing, doesn't it? The bed of nails is often used these days as uh, a form of acupuncture treatment and actually does help with uh, back problems. But I know all you beautiful circus monkeys out there aren't particularly interested in mundane things like history lectures on beds of nails. What you're interested in is the circus aspect of it. And yes, they are used even to today in circus sideshows and performances around the world. I myself possess two beds of nails, as you can see here, and here, the one that I was laying on in the intro, which is my favorite, which uh, I constructed myself. Now let's stop being boring and see a demonstration of a cinder block being broken over a grown man while laying upon a bed of nails. You want to make sure this is real? That's an eight pound sledgehammer. He's laying a grand one. <laughs> Sir, you want to see this? One time only free performance of this. <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? I bet you're thinking to yourself, there must be some trick to this, some gaff, some method that a, an actor or performer uses to keep from being injured by such a device. Actually, no. There's science behind it. I'm going to demonstrate that this is, in fact, a bed of nails. Not a bed of rubber spikes or dull wooden things. No, this is actually metal nails. I'm going to do this without injuring myself if I can. But it's... Uh, Usually it's going through two paper plates quite well. These nails are more than capable of penetrating the human body and causing grave injury. Imagine that's your backside. If you don't know what you're doing with one of these, you're going to have a butt that looks like a colander. Did you know that with some beds of nails, one can actually compress a balloon up on them without it popping. This is an example of weight distribution. Weight distributed over so many points 
disallows any one point from having enough force to penetrate the object. And so laying up on a bed of nails is a simple task. The most dangerous and difficult part is learning how to actually lay down on it and how to get up from it. To show what I meant by there uh, being a certain technique to laying on a bed of nails without uh, poking yourself, I'm going to demonstrate how I do it. Now, there are different methods for laying on nails, and the methods are probably as varied and sundry as the amount of people who actually do this trick. So, what I like to do, personally, squat down, get the back of my feet right up here against the board, place my hands on either side. Now, some beds of nails actually have rails incorporated into them to hold on to. I think that's cheating. I hover over it, then slowly lower myself on, extend the legs, and then very slowly start lowering my back onto it. And the final step is to fluff my pillow for comfort. Excellent. Now, I'm not going to say don't try this at home, because I know a lot of you are going to, because that's how it is. What I am going to say is, if you are going to attempt this, if you are going to build your own bed of nails, I suggest you do your research first. Don't just hammer a few nails into a piece of plywood and lay down on it, because you will go to the emergency room, and you will get tetanus. Getting up, once again, is one of the trickier parts. You just got to take your time with it. Like that. Now, as I said, I constructed this one. But what I used was a layer of three-quarter inch plywood. I laid down a... Um, a sheet of pegboard over it, clamped it in place, and used the holes as a grid for drilling holes for the nails. On the back, you see, I have a quarter inch sheet of plywood screwed on to hold everything in place and to make it easier in case uh, the nails become bent or warped or rusted and I have to replace them, I can just take the backing off, knock these nails out, and replace them with new ones. I recommend this. If you're going to use a bed of nails for more than one or two occasions, like if you're going to build one for Halloween, or you're going to build one for like a birthday party or something as a trick, go ahead, have at it. Just hammer these nails through a sheet of plywood and be done with it. If you're going to build one that's going to last, and you want to build one that you're going to have for a while, I suggest you drill holes, run your nails through them, put the backing on it. Make it easier to replace things and do maintenance on it. And these do need maintenance. Uh, this one is clear coated. It has four coats of clear coat over the wood and the nails. Um, I try to keep the oils, uh, the nails oiled as well uh, to keep them from rusting, which is a major problem. Um, hopefully, you're not going to get penetrated by one of these nails. But if one does break the skin, it's better that it's not rusted because that creates a that creates its own set of problems. Always have a pillow. You don't need one, but it makes things more comfortable. And like every um, every photograph I've seen uh, taken in the last 150 years of someone laying on a bed of nails, they have a nice pillow or even like a uh, padded back to it. This is the second bed of nails that I own. It's um, a little more ancient than the other. This one, I think, is um, not as in good a shape as the uh, one I like to use. And in fact, I'm uh, in the process of selling this to a performer with my circus who's going to buy it for laying upon it. This one, the nails, as I said before, are not as uh, close together. This makes the entire trick a little more difficult, but it's still entirely possible. Just to show that uh, I'm not pulling a prank on you guys. 
shadow here is going to lay on this bed of nails. Now like I said, this one is completely different than the one that you saw in the opening of the video. As I said, in this bed of nails, the nails are spaced further apart, making the entire trick more difficult. So, would you please demonstrate to the nice circus monkeys how relatively easy it is to lay on a bed of nails. And voila! So how does it feel? Now I'm going to attempt this with a caveat this time. Shadow, would you be so kind as to step forward, please? Over here. Now you may think there's some trick to laying on this where you're raising your back off the bed of nails or something. The neighbor's poodle seems to agree. So, would you be nice enough to sit on my chest while I'm laying on this bed of nails? I don't want to crush you. You see? It's easy. Let me get up. That's it for now, my beautiful circus monkeys. But before we go, I just want to say that most of the people that have viewed our videos so far aren't subscribed, so if you aren't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, that way you get notifications every time we post another one of our videos. And if you would like, um, like a blueprint for how I built this bed of nails so you can construct your own, leave me a message on uh, YouTube, on Facebook, or on Patreon. If you would like me to construct you your very own bed of nails and mail it to you, I could probably do that too. We'll be coming at you soon with another video. So keep it real, my beautiful circus monkeys. Au revoir.